Welcome. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to get started with Alibaba Cloud's Apsara DB for Redis. Apsara DB for Redis is a key value pair store that offers in memory caching and high speed access to applications hosted on the cloud. We'll show you how to migrate an existing Redis database to Alibaba Cloud's Apsara DB for Redis. Before you begin, first check that your Redis installation is working. Open Terminal and start Redis with Redis Server. Open a new terminal window and run the command line interface with Redis CLI and check the server is running with a ping. Set and get a test key value pair and save it to the backup file. Set my key to my value. Check with get my key and save. You can also connect to a Redis instance using client software such as Redis for Java. This class pings the server. Apsara DB for Redis allows you to migrate your database with the EOF file. Make sure you set append only on your Redis database with config set append only yes. Log on to the ECS instance you have already set up. Let's install everything we need on the Ubuntu 16.04 OS. First, we need to do the requisite Ubuntu updates. Type apt get update. Then apt get upgrade. Then apt get dist dash upgrade. Then let's install Redis on the ECS instance with apt install Redis dash tools. Now you can create an Apsara DB for Redis instance that is connected to the default VPC and ECS which we just created. Go to Apsara DB for Redis and click create instance. Pick the Redis version you require. Notice that Alibaba Cloud auto-populates the VPC details with the defaults just created. Don't forget to enter a password. When you're ready, click Buy Now, then Agree to Terms and Activate. Next, in the Apsara DB for Redis details, we have to whitelist a network CIDR block in order to access the Redis instance. The default whitelist blocks all access with 127.0.0.1. For the tutorial's purposes, let's modify the whitelist setting to allow access from anywhere. Remember, in the real world, you will want to whitelist just a section of a VPC CIDR block for Redis. After the whitelist has been set, the connection address appears on the Apsara DB for Redis Instance Information tab. Make a note of it. Now, from the terminal connected to the ECS instance, you can access the Apsara DB for Redis instance with the following command Redis dash CLI dash H connection address dash A password. In a terminal window, cd to the local directory in which your append only dot AOF database backup file resides and run the following SCP command SCP append only dot AOF root ampersand, open bracket, IP address, close bracket, colon, forward slash, home. Now, log on to the ECS and find the copied appendonly.aof file. Pipe the appendonly.aof file to the Apsara DB for Redis instance with the following command. Redis-cli-h, open bracket, connection address, close bracket dash p 6379 dash a open bracket password closed bracket dash dash pipe less than append only dot aof now log in to your apsara db for redis service and with the get command check the data by retrieving something you set on the database locally you will see that your data has been successfully migrated over to the alibaba cloud you can also connect to your Alibaba Cloud Apsara DB for Redis instance with a local Redis client for Java. 
Before you can access the Redis instance in the cloud, you have to open some ports on the ECS instance. First, install RynetD on the Alibaba Cloud Ubuntu instance. Next, add the following configuration details to the RynetD configuration file. Then, start the RynetD service. Check whether RynetD is running and working properly. Also, make sure to open the Redis port in the security group details of the ECS instance. Go to the ECS Management Console Security Groups and select your security group. Click Configure Rules, then Add Security Group Rules. Open port range 6379 forward slash 6379 to the IP range you wish to have access to your Redis instance. We have used 0.0.0.0, .0 forward slash 0 for the tutorial's purposes, but remember, this is insecure. Now you can code directly to the Redis instance from your local development environment. For Redis, create a new class and add the appropriate configuration details to match your cloud instance. As with all the other Alibaba Cloud Apsara DB services, in the Apsara DB for Redis instance details, you can set backup configurations for your Redis instance. You now know how to get started with Alibaba Cloud's Apsara DB for Redis. For more information, visit www.alibabacloud.com. Thanks for watching.